be found is with gas prices right now, and they have recently fallen. 446 at 75 degrees in the Dayton area. And there's some rain, and I saw it this morning. Let's check in with Storm Center 7 meteorologist Austin Cheney. Yeah, there was some rain out there this morning. As I was laying in bed last night, I could hear some thunder off there in the distance. So we've certainly had a kind of stormy night across the Miami Valley. We're still hanging on to some of that this morning. Right now in Dayton, we're dry, just warm and muggy at 75 degrees. But we do have showers and rumbles of thunder working on through northern parts of the Miami Valley. The heaviest shower is ongoing right near Russell's Point here, getting out of Jackson Center. So parts of Logan County. County, maybe towards Bell Center, Russellvania, you're going to be next on deck for that heavy downpour. A little downpour going near DeGraff as well. We have lighter rain along the I-75 corridor through parts of Shelby County, a couple sprints and sprinkles near Fletcher and Troy, and then some more rain starting to work on into western parts of the Miami Valley through Wayne and Randolph counties there in Indiana. So we got some scattered showers this morning. That's really how a lot of our day is going to be. Partly to mostly cloudy, scattered showers, and then just warm and muggy yet again. Here's the view into Zinnia this morning. You can see the roads are still a little wet there in Greene County. And so as you hit the roadways this morning, you may want to just add a few extra minutes in case you do uh, come across either a heavy downpour or some wet spots out there. Now here's what we're watching. We have a cold front ever so slowly trying to work on through the Miami Valley. That's giving us our rain chances today. The problem is we still have high pressure down to our south. So as that front is moving to the south, it's running into that area of high pressure and they can't go anywhere real quickly. So that keeps the rain chances over us today. At least though, as the front slowly passes through, our temperatures won't be near as warm. So here's what can future cast scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms possible as we go through the morning hours, then same story into the afternoon. The main threat today, just some localized downpours and spots. We could have some cloudy guard lightning, but no severe weather is expected. And look at the temperatures. 5 o'clock today, instead of being in the upper 80s to near 90, we're only in the lower 70s across northern parts of the area to near 80 degrees here in Dayton. So even though it will still be muggy, at least it's not quite as hot as what we saw yesterday. Chance for showers persist into the evening, and then we should be trying out for the most part as we go through the overnight hours tonight. Again, the severe weather threat today is pretty low. The main hazard with any storm that develops is just the heavy rain itself. So later today, once we have more traffic on the roadways, if you have a heavy downpour, all that water and spray could make it a little difficult to drive. And of course, we have the cloud ground lightning threat. So if you're going out to the fair in Champaign County, or if you're just spending some time at the pool today, remember, if you can hear thunder, close enough to be struck by lightning, so take the planes inside for a bit. And coverage will be scattered. Not a washout, but we'll have to dodge those storms at times. Again, here's your fair forecast. It is going to be a little more comfortable temperature-wise out there today. It's still muggy if you're going out of the Champaign County Fair, but at least we're only going to get to the low 80s as opposed to near 90 today. Bring the poncho or the umbrella as we do have that chance for showers at times. Overnight tonight, few storms early drying out there after 67 degrees by the time we wake up on your Wednesday morning. And then Wednesday will be our last chance for rain for a few days. There's a slight chance that we run into a shower mainly before noon tomorrow. We'll be drying out by your Wednesday afternoon. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday Saturday look fantastic uh, because we'll be drying out. We've got the sunshine in the less humid air. So today, slowly but surely, we're getting this more comfortable air into here. By Friday, humidity levels across the Miami Valley are low. We'll have temps in the 70s by then. So we are getting closer to having some more enjoyable weather back in our forecast. Here's your seven-day. Chance for showers and storms today, and then another chance early tomorrow. We are dry for Thursday. Low humidity returns by Friday, 77 degrees. So that is a bit below the average for this time of year. Saturday looks great, mostly sunny at 79. A few isolated thunderstorms may come back into the forecast by Sunday and Monday. All right, Austin, thank you. We are in week three of our seven weeks of summer tour. And today, Storm Center 7 Chief Meteorologist McCall Brydax is heading to Urbana to check out the Champaign County Fair. She will be there during our 90 minutes of news, and that begins at 5. It is 451, 75 degrees. Good morning. Computer chip shortages and supply chain issues are driving the prices of new and used cars up. We'll take a look at the new trend of flipping cars that's earning owners some big bucks. A new study found some workers are making more money as prices rise due to inflation. However, many are seeing less money, which workers are bringing home more dough. 